Why don't you go ahead and tell me what happened, Billy? What? Again? I already done told your sheriff over there. Come on, Billy. We already established we're on first-name basis by now. I know you did, Billy. But the sheriff's not... Hey, Gumma James. Gerald's. Call me Gerald's. What he once was. His memory ain't the best thing around like it used to be. Why is everybody always saying that these days? <sighs> All right. Where do you want me to start? Why don't you go ahead and start from the beginning so as to avoid any confusion? Not a big fan of confusion. <laughs> that Chinese fella? Me neither. Hey, if, if they're so goddamn wise, why are they building the railroad for us? <laughs> go on ahead, Billy. Well, it's really nothing to it. We like to... We? Yeah, me and Colin. We like to bend elbows with some whiskey and see who's a better shooter on this target on the side of his barn every Saturday. Fresh target every week. You like to see who's a better shooter while soaked? Yeah. I mean, we usually have a hog killing time, but things were different today. Huh. How's that? Well, first off, he was already as full as a tick by the time I met him to go to the general store to get the whiskey. Hmm, that's so. That's right. Should have been my first clue. We couldn't even do our usual toast before commencing. Really? What's that? Bottoms up. Be careful, that's fantastic. Pardon me? Be careful, that's fantastic. Now what in the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it was just something one of us said once after we had some of the boss whiskey around. Goes down smooth and hits you harder than a jackass's hind legs. I think it was him who said it first, actually. We was soaked after a short while and uh, I was fixing to have a swig. He said, be careful, that's fantastic. <laughs> We both thought it was funny, especially after I agreed with him after putting the whiskey to the test. I'm gonna have to try some of that there whiskey, that's for sure. Can you sure. please go on with what happened, Billy? Well, by the time we got to his barn, I was almost as soaked as he was, so we started shooting that target on his barn, but he was quieter, different uh, than before. Uh, now that I think about it, we, he never shot the barn itself today. Just as he was about to, he turned to me and... And then he said, did you use that very hay right there? I was, I was balled up. I had no idea what he was talking about. So I asked, what are you saying? And he said, did you use my very own hay to roll in with Susan? Susan? Colin's wife. So he thought you were having an affair with his wife. Your very best of friends. That's right. Mm-hmm. So then what happened, Billy? Billy, what happened after that? Before I, c I could deny anything, he was raising his gun toward me, so I shot him. You shot him? Yeah. Okay, he was raising his gun towards you, and you realized this. And you still had time to beat him to the punch, and you shot first. Yeah. It happened so fast, I swear. I was always the better shooter anyway. I was a Confederate soldier, goddammit. He was telling the truth, wasn't he? About his wife. You had an affair with her. Oh, all right. Yeah, but, but if you're implying that I killed my very best friend I was in the war with to be with some unfaithful woman, that ain't true. All right, I believe you, Billy. Calm down. Susan loved Colin. There was no way in hell she would be with me if I even thought about doing away with him. You can ask her. And now she's gonna have to visit him in the goddamn bone orchard every damn year because of me. Well, Billy, I'd say you're clear with self-defense, and I believe you. All right. And you know why I believe you, Billy? Why? Because you didn't know that Colin had tied up Susan right behind that barn wall, right behind that very target that only you shot at today. <laughs> 